The world's poorest countries are set to benefit from a new climate funding plan to help them cope with the impacts of climate breakdown. In an effort to break the impasse between, uh, in an effort to break the impasse between developed and developing countries, at the UN COP26 climate summit, the UK government, as COP26 hosts, will unveil the proposals on Monday, along with ministers from Germany and Canada who have been charged with drawing up a plan for climate finance needed to gain the backing of scores of developing countries for any deal at the talks which open in Glasgow next Sunday. But the COP26 climate finance plan is likely to be overshadowed by a row, a row within, within the UK government over overseas aid as the Chancellor of the Exchequer, Richie, Richie Sunak, prepares fresh cuts to the UK's aid budget in comprehensive spending review on Wednesday against the wishes of COP26 supporters in the cabinet. Poor countries have been promised since 2009 that by 2020, they would receive at least $100 billion a year from public and private sector sources in richer countries to help them cut greenhouse gases and cope with the impacts of extreme weather. Under the 2015 Paris Climate Accord, nations committed to restricting global temperature rises to well below 2 degrees Celsius. Your entry point and the, the policing of the operation by its tone and style is very much about uh, protection of human rights, about facilitating people's right to peaceful assembly and peaceful protest, but you prepare for the worst. It's the most important conference, climate conference of my lifetime. Uh, this is a crisis for humanity, climate change. I think it shows the depth of our commitment that we were prepared to walk 500 miles. We need to put pressure on governments to do the things that they need to do. We would have to stay away from the beach and change <coughs> schools. I've put up posters by all the sinks in our school saying turn off the taps. More houses should have solar panels. We affect it by lowering the price.